Still mushrooms, oh, no, dried no, tomatoes, no, seaweed, we must pass on and uh, mashed potatoes. So, He's not that quick. doesn't look pretty, no, but I'm we'll hungry. Right after the cache, I saw him that morning. Because I saw him uh, the day. He camped just like hot. The yeah. Tastes very much like seaweed. <laughs> it's good. See if I can do an update here. Got the walker pass on Monday, and uh, it's Saturday, and didn't do. I guess it was really hot and everything. So one day we did six miles. Yesterday we didn't make it to the water source, but brought extra water. So did like eight or nine. And right now, I think we're five or six miles from Kennedy Meadows, and it's 11:30. And nobody's really feeling good. I was in so much pain yesterday. A lot less pain today. And I don't know. The day before, Little B tried to push me. Like, oh, let's go, hurry. And something funny, we were climbing a mountain and I started dry heaving because we were doing these switchbacks. And I was like, oh no. Like, I'm like, <laughs> like I'm gonna throw up and I need to not throw up to conserve water and then it stops for one second I grab my drink and I take one sip and she's like let's go <laughs> and I was like oh no <laughs> and actually I spit the drink out and just started laughing like whoa give me like one more minute so <sighs> other people are doing about 20 to 30 miles just passing just wow so that's kind of a little disheartening. A lot of fast, young, fit people. And I still feel like I'm the slowest person on the trail. So I can do it though. There's a river here and apparently everybody's going swimming. So looking forward to that too. And I can do it. So, that's pretty much not a lot of exciting things going on. I feel really skinny. Just, I'm still carrying so much weight. So, 100 plus pounds of weight that other hikers aren't carrying. So, and I don't think a lot of hikers realize, they're like, oh yeah, you can do it, just do more miles. And it's just... I'm carrying an extra 100 pounds on me, so more miles is not, <laughs> more miles will send you to the grave, let's say that. So I think every day, there's so many days I've just cried because I've tried to push it and I still try to push it every day and I'm in pain every day. And I don't use the medicine as a crutch. I think I took ibuprofen once in the last five days. And I don't want to because I think I'm gonna end up breaking myself if I use too many take pills. So I'm just hot masking the pain. <laughs> so I'm very vocal with my pain. It's kind of fun, funny the other hikers I sit down, I'm like, ow, oh, ow. And like, are you okay? Are you okay? And I was like, yeah, I just, that's how I am. <laughs> that's how I cope with the pain. <laughs> so you moan and you groan and you wait till the pain starts feeling better that you can tolerate it. So that's pretty much it. Okay, I'll let everybody go, bye.
Congratulations. Way to go. <laughs> Wise words. <laughs> Ginger ale. Second chance never drinks. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> Where do you imagine <laughs> <laughs> beers? <laughs> never. Tired and hungry. <laughs> Eating a hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> it's huge. Ah, damn. See, that's the bird. It's so difficult. There ought to be a company that makes tortillas the exact size of the bear ball. So you can just. Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sounds perfect. <laughs> Very good. Peanut butter. Hey everybody, so made it to Kennedy Meadows. We have Mary right here. Hi guys! And two foot adventures. So actually I first uh, got contacted with Mary over my sleeping bag was not doing so well and everything. I think I was in February. She was giving me a lot of great advice. She wasn't at Warner Springs. But if you're on the PCT, you've definitely heard of two foot adventures before. They're Warner Springs, they're here at Kennedy Meadows. And then where are you gonna be up north? We're gonna be at Etna. Etna wow. too. So hopefully see them again. I have to show you my uh, shoes here. You see the rip on the side? <laughs> Just ah. But anyways, I got my new ones, the same ones. Yep, they're on camera. So <laughs> anyways, Mary is awesome. She said so many nice, encouraging things back in February. I was like, oh, I just like totally love her. So I'm um, here at Two Foot Adventures. I'm so glad I finally got to meet her and I needed shoes so bad. I was actually in so much pain. We're so yeah. happy to meet you too. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> So this has just been really awesome. I'm so glad. So yeah, I get a hug too. Yay! <laughs> so yeah, the shop and everything. They have a ton of stuff and everything in here. Just maybe do a quick peek. Well, it's a Ford. It's a Ford vehicle. Um, actually, it's a Canadian. Shoes, shoes, shoes. Back here. 
tons of great stuff and everything at Hiker Knee. So if you do the PCT next year, year after, you're definitely gonna run into two foot adventures. So I've been hiking for a long time. I'm very tired and I met uh, Andrew here and he asked to take my picture. He's taking everybody's picture and I instantly knew who he was and I'm gonna let him explain it. So Andrew, uh, who are you and what do you do? Um, I'm a photographer. Um, I live down in Southern California and I started this project in March where I wanted to go out and do portraits of PCT through hikers. Um, I'm not a through hiker myself, but I'm a PCT fan and a uh, backpacker. So I wanted to basically meet real people and meet people that are being really authentic. And I've found a lot of that on the trail. So yeah, I started back in March and um, my goal was to photograph 200 hikers before they left Southern California. And I hit that goal, I got to 200 by May and uh, photographed a bunch, of, a bunch of PCT hikers and kind of tried to gather some stories and interview people a little bit. And then uh, decided that I'm gonna continue the project and travel up into the Sierras in July and go to PCT days in Oregon in August. And then from there, who knows? But I'm considering um, publishing a book in the fall of all about hikers, PCT hikers and their stories and where they come from. All right. So I originally already heard about you. I heard a lot of hikers talking that you took their picture and everything. And uh, actually like, oh, this is really cool. I totally want to meet this guy. So it was really cool. I ran into you and everything. It was serendipitous because I was like, I, I had wanted to meet you, but I, it's really hard to meet specific people on the trail. It's like, you can, I can't just hunt down hikers. So what I'll do is I'll go to where I, the trail crosses a road or something and just wait and see who shows up. But it's hard to sort of run into specific people. But it was nice to run into you today. Yeah, very, very cool there. So you're thinking about putting together a book and do you think you're gonna make a career out of this maybe? Well, I'm a, I'm a portrait photographer, I do commercial work. So for me, this is a passion project. It's something I do on the side. You know, it's, it's still photography, it's still my vocation, but it's not something I'm getting paid to do. So it's just for fun. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's the when, awesome when thing, I, as long as you're having fun. Right? Then, well, I told yeah. myself when I started this in March that I would continue to do it until it's not fun. And that hasn't happened yet. Like, it's still fun. I still go out and I meet really interesting people from all over the world. And everybody is from all different walks of life and all different places. And they're before they got on trail and then they get on trail. And there's really authentic camaraderie and the interesting stories that people have and getting to share a soda or a beer with somebody on trail and hear their story is pretty it's exciting to me it's something that like i think that taking pictures of people is something i like to do but hearing their story and who they are and getting to tell those stories is sort of the goal of the project yeah i totally understand that's actually really cool yeah i actually saw a lot of your work and i haven't seen it in a while because i haven't had internet service yeah. so it would have been cool to check out more of it but yeah i kept coming across you on instagram too and your work and i was like this guy is awesome i'm hoping to i'm hope i'm planning to be a pct as in oregon and i'm hoping that some of the 200 plus hikers i've already photographed that i can run into them at pct days and do a second photo and maybe a second interview and talk to people and try and get get a little bit of that transformation where you see people like maybe they're at you see a picture of them at mile 150 and then you see a picture of them at mile 2000 so yeah but they're gonna look a lot different yeah. too yeah <laughs> yeah that's awesome i hope i'm gonna look a lot different i think you will <laughs> two I, months from now so i think a lot two. of people gain a lot of great things from the from the pct and whether you finish it or not like there's many lessons to be learned and physically you know you can become physically more healthy but also like there's a lot of people out here that are like deep they're they're hiking themselves to like better mental health and mindfulness and just getting away from stress and things that are yeah things that bring you down in life yeah i think a lot of hikers are gonna you know that's what i'm getting to it's like i'm out here for my journey but a lot of people can relate too because they're out here for their different things they're just trying to become better people to yeah. hiking yeah. and love that yeah for sure there's no there's nothing nothing bad that can happen can come from this it's just it's it's hard what you're doing is very hard i realize that but like i've learned i didn't learn this until my 30s but like 
every, pretty much everything worth doing in life is really hard. Like, just if it's easy, just don't do it. Don't just skip it. All right, Andrew, it was really awesome meeting you. I'm gonna definitely go back and look at more of your work and look. Uh, hopefully, see you in a couple of months and you can photograph me again. So, if you also want to see my photograph, you need to go check out his Instagram. It's gonna be in the description down below. And uh, just one more time, you want to give a shout out to you, your Instagram? Yeah, it's uh, PCT underscore people underscore project. All right, so definitely, if you also just want to look at a picture of what he took of me, I would definitely go check him out. Yeah. So. All right. Well, it was awesome. Thanks for the interview. Yeah, thank you. And hopefully I get to meet you again in August. Maybe yeah. do another follow-up too. Let's make it happen. Yeah. Awesome.